Christmas Eve, year A. From the Gospel according to Luke, Mary gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We humans cannot make use of everything in our environment. God has made us, however, quite good at separating out what we do need from what we do not need. We breathe in air, separating out the oxygen we do need from the carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and other stuff that we don't need. In the Incarnation, the word in which all things were made opened his mouth to cry and got his first gulp of air as something that has to be divided up before you can use it. Now, God doesn't normally work that way, separating the world into what he does and doesn't need. We walk in darkness and then are able to see a great light, but God can see both the light and the dark at once. Our eyes can hear some songs, but not others. When we say, sing to the Lord a new song, sing to the Lord all the whole earth, we are confident that God can hear all that the earth has to sing. How deafening must the relative silence of that stable have seemed. In Jesus, all the fullness of God was crammed into the tiny, fragile, miraculous body of a human infant. And suddenly, God, to whom all is present, experienced the world as we do. This and not that at every single moment. Authority is only needed when you must choose between this and that. And power is only needed when this is in conflict with that. Therefore, Jesus is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, because in Jesus, God loved us so much that he became one of us, making room for the holiness of God where there was no room before. To us a son is born. To us a child has been given. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.